Hey everyone, welcome back. I just had to show this to you. So I go out for a hike today. I am in between a tank top and then a t-shirt and then a jacket and back and forth and now it's snowing on me. <laughs> it's the one thing I love about Jackson Hole, it's just like Chicago. If you don't like the weather, just wait a few minutes, it'll change. <laughs> All right, I have something to chat about, but I'm gonna do it uh, in a little bit because it is going to uh, be freezing here in a second. <laughs> okay, see you in a little bit. Okay, I'm back. Whew, I'm safely at home and I've changed my clothes because <laughs> <laughs> I have been chasing storms all morning. Oh, today's a great day though. I am exhausted and it feels so good. I'm tired from movement. And this video is gonna be short because I've got a pizza waiting for me that I'm about to house, which is also amazing. I feel hungry, like wanting to eat. <sighs> Not having to fight myself and say, you will take that next bite. Oh, you threw up? Well, you are gonna take another bite <laughs> and replace it. That's what I've had to do for like two years. And right now, <sighs> mm, man, you should see, like, literally I was walking and it's like, you know, taking my shirt off down to my tank top because it's like sun and hot. And then all of a sudden it's windy and cold and I'm bundling back up and then it's raining, snowing and, and two more feet uh, sunny, which is, which is great. Uh, I say it's, it's kind of, um, it gave me what I was thinking about on the walk and what I want to talk about, uh, um, with you guys. Uh, I was thinking about how the weather changes and I love this. I love this about Chicago. I love this about the mountains, right? You have to be very careful, uh, in the mountains because a lot of people get, um, screwed up, go on on a day hike and they're not prepared. They don't bring uh, proper stuff for them in case, you know, if the weather changes uh, immediately, which it does, right? So you have to be very flexible, adaptable. And as I was thinking about like, it made me think about like titration, right? In human school, uh, allowing feelings to come, sit in them and let them go. And what I've been kind of thinking about today is, if you guys, uh, were with me earlier this week, then you know that the trial that I thought I was in, that I thought I was starting uh, the day that I come back for chemo is has now been canceled, right? So that's, you know, there's a, the mind fuck here. It's fine. I've already made an appointment with a thoracic surgeon. I'm, I'm, I will continue searching. Uh, but that impact was, you know, I mean, physically, I heard the news and it made me sit down and then for days, I was so low energy. And so understanding that, and I think I have a very unique opportunity because I have been in crisis for the last two years. I couldn't look past a week from now, two weeks from now was the most that we could uh, plan anything or look into the future. Um, and every day, my mind was spent managing pain, managing sickness, managing no energy, chemo brain, and I'm, I still have pain, you know, um, <laughs> for any of you that have a chronic disease or a terminal disease, maybe uh, you can appreciate this, you know, when you, I feel a pain here and I'm like, oh my God, the cancer is growing back in my liver. And yeah, I just went for a three mile walk it's probably a stitch, you know what I mean? Every little thing you feel, you're like, ah. And for two years, it's been everything. And hey, you know, kudos, like I've gotten through it. And the thing is, I am trying to figure out if there's a way to now that I'm not distracted so much by constant pain, other, all these other issues that come with, with treatment, um, I will still have the, the week of chemo. You know, you're attached to the chemo for three days, so you get sick, you've lost your mind. Uh, so that week is kind of, I don't know how I'll deal with that, but I'm, I'm, I'm wondering if moving forward while I have this health, while I have this strength, 
if there's a way to compartmentalize, maybe um, if that's the right, I don't know why, but compartmentalize makes me think of it in a negative way. But uh, instead, I'm thinking about the way that I would approach uh, um, anything uh, at work, right? I'm a builder uh, and uh, I design programs, employee programs and, and workflows and, and all of these things. And for me, you have to break it down, right? If you take the whole thing, you're super overwhelmed, break it down, make a plan, break it down, make a plan, right? So is it possible to carve out portions of the day and allow myself to sit in and think about my cancer and planning and, and this, and then let it go. And then involve myself in some other activities where I'm, I'm right here right now focused on that. So the whole thing that I was thinking about today was this ebb and flow of your emotions, which has been absolutely impossible in the last two years because my mind is screaming, oh my God, I'm dying at all times, right? <laughs> and I laugh, but it's, you know, you get it. But now, it's not like, like there, there's been times in, in these past few weeks, like I, I go an hour or two or three that I don't think about the fact that I'm dying. I don't think about uh, cancer and this is, it's glorious. And if I'm gonna stay this healthy <laughs> for a little while, right? Like if I have the ability to focus on movement and my nutrition, the mind game, the mental game is, is this is what, you know, already I'm thinking about going back for chemo and I'm like, ew, gross. I came over the rest of my life. Why? But you know, like it's a mind fuck. So is it possible to say, okay, you're going to have a cup of coffee and you've got the next hour to think about cancer and your treatment and allow yourself to just go there, whatever that means, and then let it go and carve out time that I'm not thinking about it. Can I extend this mountain life to everyday life when I return to treatment? Am I making sense here? Because I'm now I'm looking at the long game, right? I feel pretty confident that I am definitely gonna be here for six months. I'd even say a year, right? That's how strong I feel. And so I feel like I, I actually could grab, I could grab some true enjoyment instead of constantly thinking about cancer and I'm dying and the anxiety. I never dealt with anxiety before cancer. <laughs> for all of you that do, wow. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to try this over this next week. I'm going to try to carve out certain times of the day that I just allow myself to, to go forth because it's not good to ignore it and it's not good to, to not allow yourself to feel these things, right? You go crazy and then see if that will let me continue this beyond my treatment break. <laughs> that would be glorious. Because I, I fear just as learning this news this week, it, it really impacted me. I could really see it. I could really feel it. I, it was, it was a, it, it took me down uh, and it was just like this weather. I went through a roller coaster of all different emotions from anger to fear to sadness to everything. And, but it consumed me for a couple of days, no matter what I did, I just kept coming back to it. And, and <sighs> yeah, 
this will give me the strength if I can continue having breaks in my day where I don't think about this. I feel like this will give me the strength to go even longer, right? Because the whole game of fighting this cancer is to stretch my time here. No one's come up with a cure yet, but holding it off. And you have to have a good mental game to do that because it gets really hard. Last year I came that close to giving up because I was in so much pain 24 hours a day and I didn't see any way out. So I wanna make sure I don't get there again. All right, well, I'll let you know how it goes. Right now, <laughs> I'm gonna go jump inside and uh, <laughs> how's a pizza? <laughs> and I picked up ice cream. <laughs> you guys, I don't eat sugar and flour and all of these things because cancer, I have to eat a strictly pescatarian diet. Everything in my day is always about fighting cancer and I've allowed myself a little bit of a break from that. <sighs> Thanks for listening. I'll talk to you later.